My name is Katya Minakova and I've been working at JDC for 8 months. I like this job, though it is very demanding, but I meet a lot of new interesting people and learned a lot about my heritage, history and culture of Jewish people. But I think the most exciting part of my work is that can help a lot of people who really need that help. For the last few weeks I have been visiting clients of the Snyder SOS program. These Russian Jews are in dire circumstances and their stories really broke my heart. But the fact that they were not left alone with their trouble was really heartwarming. I want to tell you about one of the regular days of my work on that project. Yankel was born in Tashkent. When we saw him first time, he looked like an old old man. I was surprised he told me that he is in his middle 50s. He is an invalid and can't work because he is losing his eyesight and suffering from anemia. He is living on a state pension, which is a little bit more than $150 a month. I can't imagine how they survive in Moscow. No wonder there was not any food in the fridge. What his wife Irina earns plus his pension is spent on medicine and the rent. The food we brought with us, fruit, sausages and dairy products, was a real treat to them and their 9-year-old son. At the end of the visit he looked 20 years younger. Our sympathy and made that the Jewish songs my friend Leona Smehab sang to them made him feel younger and better. And I felt good about it. The next visit was in the other part of Moscow, and with traffic, it took us several hours to get there. Not to mention the 90 degrees heat, but the joy I saw in the eyes of Ludmila made our trip worthy. Luda is also an invalid. She suffers from osteoporosis and also takes care of her father who is bedridden. For her it is a full-time job. The medicine she takes costs half of her monthly pension, exactly $65. So when we told her that Sandy and Edgar Snyder provided her with supply of that drug, Luda almost cried with joy. Her life without that help would be really miserable, but now her condition dramatically improved. Luda considered herself Jewish, but didn't know traditions and history of the Jewish people. That's why the traditional songs which Loning sang to her were a real treat for Ludmila. It was the end of the day when we finally get to Maria through traffic and unbelievable for that time heat. Marie is 25. She is a cartoon artist, very talented one. She looked very cheerful and friendly, but the appearance was deceivable. She was suffering from bone sarcoma and her leg was amputated. Recently, she was provided by prosthesis leg and her health temporarily improved. I also believe that she is a very strong person. She was very optimistic and did not show any sign of despair. She lives in a small but cozy studio, but when her 35-year-old fridge was finally broken, it was a real blow to her budget. Marie is trying to make ends meet. She works from home. When her sketches are ready, her father takes her in a car to the studio and she got the pension from state. So when SOS program provided her with a new one, her burden had been lifted. I really don't know what will happen to Masha, but I am sure that the quality of her life improved and even an hour which we spent with her gave her a lot of energy and optimism. <laughs> Urwahim, 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 Urwah